Hi, my name is Incarnation from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to getting flanked man. So how you want to play him in solo queue is, you, you just want to poke them with your barrel before you do anything. And make sure to use your ultimate on like side lanes if possible, to like turn around a fight, or even help to wave clear if necessary. The ultimate does a lot of damage, so you want to make sure to like, not hold on to it and use it as much as possible. Gangplank is still fairly squishy, so you can't just walk in. You wanna try to like, line up your barrels and get a lot of damage with them before you walk in, and then you can go into the fight and melee people. For laning, you just wanna try to farm with your EQ. If possible, it, it might get hard because they'll kill your barrels, but you just wanna farm honestly, and remember to cash in with your EQ if possible, so you get extra gold. Uh, he isn't really that strong in lane, so your main goal is just to farm up until you get your Triforce. I would pick him into most matchups, honestly, because it's not too hard to just farm with him and use your ultimate on side lanes. That's basically just all you want to do on him. In teamfights, you just want to like try to use your barrels as much as possible and like get a good combo off with your Q. If possible, if you have like vision control on them and you're like baiting Baron, remember to set up barrels before you start the fight. Like just barrel in like sp spots where they don't have vision, like in the rush or stuff like that. And yeah, just try to like get the combo with your barrels on them as much as possible before you go in. Cause if you just walk in, you're going to die cause you're a very squishy champion. And your ultimate does a lot of damage too, so use that early in the fight if it's uh, if possible too. Uh, I don't know if he does anything specifically he synergizes well with. Stuff that have CC makes it easier of course. He works in most situations I would say. If you have something like a Lulu on your team it makes it easier for you as well. But he's good in most situations I would say but yeah if you have CC or like um, strong laners that would help so that you can help them out and like try to kill the laners. So for the gangplank upgrades I usually go fire at will because I, I think that's the best one usually. Um, and after that I go Death's Daughter, uh, which is the one that has a lot of like damage. Um, I don't think Erase Morale is that good to skill up. Um, I would probably do that one last in most situations. It can be good if you have trouble like engaging and you want to like catch them, but usually I think in most situations the other two would be better. When you have two battles up, you can Q the first one. And then while it's while your Q is in the air, you can place another barrel like direct the direction you want with it so that it can hit another person easier. So I really like Angfang, I just run full ID marks and health level seals, cooldown reduction in boost and 80 quints. You can also go armor pin on him if you want, both are fine. I just go for 80 because it's a much stronger laning phase and you don't really need the I'll pin damage, you just wanna like survive. And for masteries and gangplank, you just wanna go the standard 2190. And skill order, you wanna go Q max into E max. Um, you wanna take Q level 1, and then usually E level 2, you can also take W level 2. It depends on the situation. If you take a lot of damage, you should probably take W level 2. And for item build and gangplank, what I do is I go Avarice Blade early on, because like I said, it's just, it's just a champion you want to scale with. Um, you don't really need to win your lane or pressure your lane. Because he's really strong later on. So I just go to gold item to scale up and get more gold. And then uh, after that I go Triforce into Infinity Edge into Yumu's Gold Plane. And then from there on it's pretty much whatever you think is best for the situation. Like you can buy another Infinity Edge or like a Phantom Dancer maybe. Or a Bloodthirster, or even a QSS of Banshees. It's honestly a very situational at that point. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of my guides over at lolfast.com. You can always just push and keep harassing him. Um, you just want to get to 6 though and like look for TP plays and so on. So she, she's like very dominant in the lane, like she has a lot of lane control.